Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Corinne, also known as Caked Cory, And you already know what we're back here to do today. You already know. It's the new releases. New releases today. Uh, sorry, I'm uploading this a little later than usual, but I've been busy this week and I've been trying to catch up to do this one. So... If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can get new releases videos every week if you like these or other videos. I do do other videos. And with that being said, we are going to start the video. And I do want to state before we get into this video that these are all my own opinions and these are also pics and descriptions are from the accounts listed below in the description. I will be verbally saying them. So these are not my pictures. These are not my descriptions. I'm just talking about my feelings about how they are or how I feel about them. And yeah. So they'll be in the description box. Enjoy. All right, so I have scooted on over so I could put the pictures here. And just so you guys know, I'm wearing a shirt. I'm not naked naked because I know this is what you guys are probably thinking. But yes, I'm wearing a fuzzy like shirt that is like the color of my skin. And also, I like my eyeshadow today. I was going for a natural look, but you know, that didn't end up happening. So we got some purples and browns. This is a Such a Gem palette by Morphe, and I love it. It's just pretty and sparkly. I, however, do not like my base makeup. I actually like had to do my face makeup twice because I used the Rare Beauty foundation, and for some reason it just was not working well with my skin, so I had to take it off. And then I put on a Makeup Revolution one, and this one's good, but like I. It's just like I'm getting I have dry patches like right here and right here and like I'm just getting like a bunch of wrinkles around my mouth I think from wearing a mask and like being at work when I have the mask over my mouth. I'm literally going like this under the mask and I think because it keeps riding up my nose so I'm trying to hold it down with my chin and I've noticed that I do that a lot and I'm trying not to do that but I'm creating like all these wrinkles down here and I'm very frustrated by it. So I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to have the ones with the wire so it doesn't like slip up and down my nose and I have that issue. But yeah, my my foundation was good, but I did put a cream blush on and it kind of took off my foundation. So I'm kind of just having like not a great face makeup day. So if you see, I just don't like how it looks today. So just beware. I'm picky about that today. But other than that, let's get on into the video. So, we have a fun announcement that I'm going to start off with from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. You already know that I'm kind of excited about her brand coming, like, back to life because we haven't seen nothing from her. And now we have Jaclyn Hill coming to Ulta. Yes, you heard that right. Jaclyn Hill coming to Ulta. She's going to be coming um, in the next month, so March is going to be the next month, so she's going to be coming in March. I don't have a specific date, but I'm so excited for this. I can't wait to see, like, what she's going to be putting out. If she has a whole collection she's going to be putting out. If she's going to be putting out those products from, like, that bundle she just sold around Valentine's Day that was, like, surprise products that we don't even know what they were. Like, I wonder what she's going to release. I'm very excited to see. Or maybe her highlighter palettes, because I heard that those were so good and I never got to get one. So you already know I'm excited about that. That's what I had to start off with. And then next up, we have Violet Voss here. So it's uh, the I Love You Cherry Much palette. And it's available now for $42. And it's for Valentine's Day, 18 cherry tones via Trend Mood 1. I got the pics and description, pops of reds and deep berries in different formulas and finishes. And that's it. There's not like a whole lot on this palette. I feel like Violet Voss has been pumping out a bunch of these palettes. This is a bigger one, but she's been pumping out like these little ones. And honestly, like I don't have nothing against Violet Voss. Like I have one of her palettes. I think her eyeshadow formula is good. Like I just don't buy a lot from her. Like nothing really like pulls my attention. And this doesn't pull my attention just because I have like all of these shades and like different palettes, you know? I've already gone past that warm neutral like vibe a long time ago. I'm kind of in like cool tones and like purples now, you know? You know? Yeah, so I'm kind of 
not gonna pick this up if you do need a palette like this with like reds and stuff like that you definitely should get this i think it's a good palette but for 42 dollars too i don't know how i feel about that for 42 dollars i feel like it's a little expensive but yeah i don't think it's a bad palette and we're moving on to good molecules Ooh so this is the new bha clarifying gel cream um i don't exactly know when this is going to be available because it doesn't state when it's going to be available but it's going to be for ten dollars ten dollars and it's via trend mood one i have the soothe irritated blemish prone skin with help of this weightless gel cream formulated with sicilic acid and centella as i can't say this word asiatica Centella Asiatica, I think that's how you say it, extract to help maintain a clear complexion, complexion and it's cruelty free. So I think this product looks nice. I do kind of want to get it because I want to see like if it's going to be good for my skin or not. Like I want to try it. I don't really have anything that's like BHA so much. So I kind of want to get this and try it. And it's only $10. Like that's pretty good. Good Molecules is actually um, very cheap, and I hear a lot of good things about their products. I've yet to get something from them, so maybe I'll pick this up, and this will be, like, my first try-on thing. So, I like how it has salicylic acid, too. I'm intrigued by that because I have a lot of blackheads, and, I like, right here on my nose and, like, right here, and I want to get rid of them, and I want to get something that has, like, a potent salicylic acid in it. So, you know, I might try this out. Up next... I Heart Makeup Revolution, or I Heart Revolution. That's a sister brand of Makeup Revolution. We have the new Rose Fizz Chocolate Palettes, and they're available now via I Heart Revolution. I, the eyeshadow palette is a confectionery delight of matte and shimmer shades, including neutrals, pinks, roses, burgundies, and gold hues. The face palette is a highlighter duo, including pearlescent coral pink and softer blushed rose gold. For a soft, subtle highlighter, sweep a little product over the cheekbones or glow all out and use both shades for a duotone glow. Mm, both palettes are encased in cute, portable packaging wrapped in gold dripping chocolate. So they do a lot of these collections. Um, they're, as we all know, Makeup Revolution is kind of like a duping brand. So they kind of like dupe the, what is it? Too Faced, yeah, the Too Faced like chocolate bar palettes and stuff like that. So they do a lot of these too. They kind of have gone more in depth with their color stories. So they have a lot of like these chocolate palettes. And this one I think is cute. I do like, think I like the face ones more. I have my own face one from them and I do like it a lot. It's like a bronzer and a highlighter and I really like the highlighter in it. Um, I think the eyeshadow palette is okay um their eyeshadows are pretty good like i do like their palettes i'm talking about more so the color story for this it says like i wrote it down here that it says it's pinks roses burgundies and gold hues and like i'm looking at this palette and i don't see a lot of burgundies or roses like i see golds but like i'm more like when i'm looking at this palette i see very cool toned and it's kind of weird because when i think of rose obviously i think of like pinks and like gold maybe but like I don't really think of like this cool tone vibe that I'm getting from this palette. So I'm not going to pick it up for myself. If you think this is cute, definitely pick it up because their eyeshadow like formula is pretty good. And they're usually pretty cheap. I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have the, just dis not description. I don't have the price on both of these. But usually I think the palettes are like 12 bucks, 15 bucks. So it's pretty good pricing. Next up we have Nabla Cosmetics. So this is the Vicious Mascara. Look at how cute this packaging is. Like, look at how cute this is. Um, it's available now, I think. It doesn't tell me like when it's available. I think it's available now, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, via Trend Mood 1, we have the Extreme Volume Mascara that immediately intensifies the lashes from the root, leaving the tips elongated, lifted, and separated. With its vinyl formula strategically combined with the claw-shaped combs of the brush, it builds up firm and intense lash line giving depth to your eyes while separating the lashes, the lash tips, making your eyes look bigger. So kind of like a big cat eye effect, I want to say. <laughs> it's an innovative elastomer brush. It gives you control and a precise application. It's micro claw shaped combs help you define every single lash. Tip can be used to intensify the, th the thinner and bottom lashes. 
It has volume and definition, long wear and easy removal, jet black, and it's ophthalmologically... <laughs> I didn't know how to say this word because I go to the eye doctor all the time. Ophthalmologically... <laughs> It's basically ophthalmologist tested and ophthalmologists are an eye doctor. So they're saying that it's you can wear it with contacts and stuff like that and it's vegan and cruelty free. So we should have like a series of like what words that I can't say, honestly. But an ophthalmologist is uh, basically an eye doctor and they're just saying that it's been tested and it's like safe for your eyes and like contact wearers. wearers. And I do wear contacts. I have horrible horrible eyesight and I have an eye condition so like I have to wear contacts I don't think I'm ever going to be able to like not wear contacts or glasses or anything so I actually like that they tested that I would assume that every mascara is tested like that but I don't know so I like that they included that it was tested by an ophthalmologist um I think this mascara is cute I don't know if I'm necessarily going to pick it up right away I don't think that the brush, from what I could tell, I don't think it looks that innovative. It looks like another brush that we've always seen, honestly. Um, I do like how the mascara makes the lashes look in one of these pictures I'm going to have up here. But necessarily, it looks like it gives you volume. It doesn't necessarily look like it gives you length. And I'm about volume and length. And I usually use multiple mascaras. So even if I get this, I'm going to use other mascaras for those things. So maybe I'll try it. I definitely think that the packaging is cute. I also might just listen to see if people like it before I pick it up. Jafiel? Jafiel. I don't think I know the price on it though. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think we have the price on it. So, yes, hopefully it's not that expensive. Because I don't think Nopla stuff is that expensive. I don't really have anything from them, but I don't think it's gonna be that expensive. And you already know, we got some more Makeup Revolution because they have 500 sister brands and they release so many things like ColourPop, honestly. But we have the new Revolution Rehab Collection. This is gonna be, I think it's available now, I believe. Also didn't tell me if it's available now. So I think it's gonna be available now um, via at Makeup Revolution. It's time for some TLC with the Rehab Collection. Um, designed to nourish and recover your brows, lips, and lashes. You have the Rehab Brow Serum, the Rehab Lash Care Serum. Those are both gonna be $14. Then I have the Rehab Brow Care Mask, the Rehab Soap and Care Styler, then the Rehab Overnight Lip Serum, $8 each for those products I just listed. So I think this collection is cute. I also think that it's right on trend right now because I feel like a lot of people are you know, taking care of their skin, they're taking care of their lips, they're taking care of their lashes, their eyebrows. You know, we're staying in, well, if you're not working, you're staying at home a lot. So a lot of people are doing like a lot of hair things, they're trying to take care of themselves. So this is really good because I think this is like a good collection to be putting out right now. And I definitely think I'm probably going to try the lash serum and the brow serum and the lip care mask because I do need a new lip care mask. I have the Laneige one. I'm not really vibing with that one. I'm just trying to use it up at this point. So I kind of want to get a new one. And for $8, hell yeah, I'm going to get this. And then my brows are okay. I literally have not gotten my brows done for, I think, over a year now. So this is what they look like. I do like try to make sure that they're not all crazy, but... I do want my hair to grow a little more. So I'll probably get the brow serum. My lashes are okay. I've never had trouble with my lashes. Um, sometimes I like to use like a lash serum or a castor oil or something just to make them a little bit more elongated or like fuller. So, you know, not elongated, fuller, sorry. So I think that I'll probably get those. And for the price, I think that's great. And I'm just curious if it's gonna be good or not. They have a lot of skincare out and stuff and I think that their skincare is pretty good but I'm curious to see if these are good. I hope they're good. Like cross my fingers that they're good because your girl needs some new affordable stuff for her face. And next up we have Glow Recipe. This is gonna be the new Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. Pink Dream Body Cream. Uh, it's coming soon. This is gonna be via Trend Mood 1. 
This is a creamy lotion. It is a smoothie of liquefied vitamin rich watermelon seed butter, naturally smoothing hibiscus AHA soothing watermelon and multi-weight hyaluronic acid for deep moisture to act as a tall cool drink of water to parched pores. Okay. Never leaving a messy, sticky, or greasy after feel, and it's to hydrate skin with a watermelon scent. So basically, it's a watermelon body lotion, essentially. And I wonder if you could use this on your face, honestly. I wouldn't use it on my face because I think that usually if it's a body lotion, I wouldn't really necessarily put it on my face because I feel like it's too scented first off, and second, I feel like it'd be way too thick. Like, I want an actual skincare moisturizer on my face, not, like, a body lotion moisturizer or body lotion. But this, I think it's a cute addition to, like, this whole glow recipe watermelon thing. Is it overdone, though? Like, are we done with watermelon? Like, I honestly don't know of a lot of people that even use glow recipe. I can't use glow recipe because I'm already oily, so like using any of their watermelon products is just a no-no for me at this point, and I stay away from it. And a couple of things that I have used from them in the past just don't work for me. I don't know if it's like something that they use in their products, but like I just always have issues with them, so I just don't use anything. I think my body would be fine with this because it's a body lotion, like, but I necessarily don't need this. I already have like 500 different ones for Bath & Body Works in my closet that I'm like not using that I need to go through so I don't think I'll be picking this up I also don't know did I say the price on it I don't think there's a price on this one either so I'm curious to see how much they're gonna sell it for and I'm actually pretty curious that they're selling it at Sephora as like a skincare product you know what I mean because Sephora doesn't really sell like body lotions that much so I'm kind of surprised at the same time but then I'm not I don't know, I just think this is a, kind of a weird product, but whatever. <laughs> uh, next up, we have the Tower 28 Beauty. So we have the new Beach Please Tinted Cheek and Lip Balms. So they already have like one of these out, I believe, and now they're adding like three more shades to the range. So this is um, available now for $20 each. And then we have Via Trend Mood 1 uh, with a Pixin description, a multitasking tinted lip balm and cheek balm for ultra glowing lips and cheeks made with skin loving plant-based ingredients like green tea extract and aloe vera extract mm, very nice the shades we have are after hours this is a sun-kissed berry then we have rush hour which is a sun-kissed peach then we have power hour which is a sun-kissed terracotta so i do think that these are cute and i do like the colors i think they're a little different than what we've been seeing with other brands and there's, I haven't tried Tower 28 yet. I haven't tried their first shade yet that they have, but I do hear a lot from like Samantha March and other YouTubers that these are like really good. Well, the one shade they have was really good. So I think it's good that they've like come out with more shades because a lot of people apparently like this. Maybe I'll try it, honestly. I'm still like trying to get used to the cream products that I do have right now. Like I used a Fenty Cream blush today and I don't like it. And I'm not a huge cream person. I don't know if I just didn't apply it very good, but it's not even really showing up on my skin. And I put another powder over it to like darken it. And it just like, I just not vibing with this one, but maybe I'll vibe with those. I'm just like not a huge cream product. So the ones that I have, I try to use as much as I can. And I don't really buy more than that. And I honestly forget to use cream products before I put my powder products on like all the time. <laughs> so... I might try these, but I'll let you know because I'm not a huge, huge cream product fan. But they are cute, and I definitely think if you're into cream products, you would probably like these. And they're only 20 bucks, that's not that bad. Next up, we have Artiste Couture. Artiste Couture. This is gonna be their new spring 2021 collection. It's the Ethereal Bloom collection. I think this is available February 19th. Yeah. Yeah, February 19th. Via Trend Mood 1, we includes, we includes, it includes the Ethereal Bloom Eyeshadow Palette with eight shades. Then we have, um, it has matte and shimmery shades. Then we have the Diamond Lights Finisher, which is a new shade and it's in Epiphany. It's a lilac, lilac base with blue, purple, and pink pearls. Uh, and that's about it. 
in this collection. I do think the palette is cute. It's very like eastery and very spring. So I definitely like that they said that it's spring. I don't think I will be picking this up. I haven't really tried anything from Artist Couture, honestly. Um, I don't think we have, I don't know why all these people are not posting like how much they cost. Like they're saying when they're available, but they're not posting like how much it is for some reason. But I just think like, I'm curious to see how much this palette is going to be. I don't remember their little spicy picante palette or whatever that was. I don't know how much that one was, but I assume it's going to be the same price for this one. But I just think like eight shades in the little palette and I'm kind of curious if they're going to like make it like $40 for this palette. I don't know how much the other palette costs, but I feel like Artist Couture always like has their products are considered like higher end and they cost more. So I don't really know if that vibes with me. You know what I mean? You can get the same thing from Colourpop for cheaper and you can get multiple palettes probably for the price of this one palette with more shades. But I think it's cute. I mean, if you like Artist Couture, you should definitely get it. Uh, I do like the finisher. It looks very, very, very pretty, but I also don't pick up like a lot of single things because I don't tend to use them that much. I'm trying harder to use my single products, but you know, I'm more of a palette girl. Next up, we have Fourth Ray Beauty. Another color pops is the brand. So this is the Kiss and Tell Lip Patches. It's going to be available February 17th. So it's already available. And then it's going to be via Trend Mood 1. Give your lips a burst of hydration and nourishment for instantly soft, supple lips. It has peach extract for, to soften lips for a supple pout. Coconut water replenishes moisture and hydrates lips. Then we have hyaluronic acid, which will deeply quench lips with vital hydration. Honestly, I'm probably going to try these because like I said earlier, I think I'm going to be looking for more like lip mass and like overnight lip mass and stuff like that because my Laneige one is just not cutting it for me anymore and I just, it just doesn't work for me honestly. So I think I'm going to do lip patches. I've never really done them and I have a few of them. But I just haven't used them yet, but I would love to try them and to like get into that and like do them like before I go to sleep or do them like before I like do my lip makeup or do like my face makeup like I can just have one on and do my eyes and then take it off so I might do that because your girl has a little parched lips and even though I put on lip balm like my lips have been a little dry lately and I think that I need to pay more attention to them you know just like you should pay attention to any area of your face like I need to pay attention to my lips a little more Especially because wearing the mask. I think the mask is like drying out my lips a lot too. So I try to wear glosses a lot to keep them like, you know, balmy. Like right now they're getting pretty dry because I just like all of the lip gloss I had over my lipstick is just gone. <laughs> so I am excited to try these. Uh, Once again, I don't know if the prices are on these. No, I would assume that they're going to be like $12 maybe. Usually like they're around that pricing um yeah i think they'll probably be like 12 dollars. and next up we have kvd beauty or kvd vegan beauty i like saying kvd beauty it's shorter but we have the new exo lip gloss it's available now for 19 dollars each not a bad price because i think their liquid lipsticks are like 20 bucks this is a long description, so bear with me. Via Beauty News Official, don't do gloss, neither did we until now. You know we're all about being bold, high pigment, and high performance, so we're doing gloss our way. Exo Lip Gloss has more pigment than other sheer glosses, and you won't find any gritty shimmer here. It's high impact, extreme shine, will keep you swiping. And it's got our signature creme brulee flavor and ultra creamy comfortable feel that even our vegan friends can indulge in. With a curated collection of seven essential medium coverage shades to suit your mood, your mood, <laughs> your mood. I don't know why every time I start like reading things, I like mispronounce things. So EXO Lip Gloss will become your new extreme obsession. You know we never take it down a notch, but when it's right, it's right. We took our highly rated EXO Vinyl Lip Cream and dialed the pigment down for the perfect kiss of color with the same bold EXO shine. So the shades we have are Camellia, that's going to be a warm beige. Petunia is going to be a warm pink. Zinnia, I think is how you say it, is going to be a terracotta pink. We have Rosa, which is a bright rose. 
Then we have Lolita Flora, which is a chestnut rose. Then we have Azalea, which is a ripe berry. Magnolia is a true chestnut. So I think these are cute. I definitely feel like these are like the Fenty cream glosses that they just put out. So they're going to be like that like pigmented gloss that you probably don't even really need like a lipstick or lip stain or anything under. You can just wear these on their own if you want to. And I do like those products once in a while. Um, honestly, I might pick these up. I haven't gotten anything from KBD Beauty in a long time, but I haven't been to a Sephora in a long time either because I want to see this stuff in person. Like, I like ordering stuff online a lot. I've definitely gotten in that groove of ordering stuff online this whole time, but I do want to see KBD Beauty stuff in person because I do want to try their, I think they have cream blushes that I do want to try too. And there's some of their lip liners I want to pick up because I love their lip liners. And I think like, I will have to do a Sephora haul on KBD Beauty soon. I just have to go to a Sephora and do that. <laughs> But I'm definitely excited for these. I think I would get them. I haven't gotten the Fenty cream glosses. Those just didn't like speak to me that much. I do like her like other glosses, the Fenty Glow and all that. Next up, we have the queen of all skincare, Tatcha. So I love Tatcha, if you didn't know that. That's why she's the queen of all skincare. But we have the Silk Powder Protective Setting Powder. So it's available March 6th for $48. Yes, you heard that right, $48, but are we surprised? It's Tatcha. <laughs> Via Trendmood 1, joining the Silk family, a protective talc-free setting powder that blurs pores, shields from pollution and blue light, and provides a translucent, soft, radiant finish. It's going to have silk extract that maintains healthy moisture balance for visibly smoother, more radiant skin. Silk powder helps makeup last longer, blurs the look of pores, and reduces the appearance of shine. Then we have anti-pollution and blue light ingredients that shield skin from stressors that may cause the look of premature wrinkling. Well, we just talked about how I have wrinkling around my mouth, so definitely need this product already just based off the description. We already know. So, I do like uh, Tatcha's products a lot. I do love their skincare a lot. I do love the Silk Canvas uh, Primer, the one that's in like the little circle that you like take out and it's like the poreless putty primer. I like that one. Uh, I do think that I, in this picture, I'm skeptical about how big it's going to be because it looks like they have a brush that's like this big and it like barely fits into the compact. So I think the compact's going to be like this big, like that's how it looks in the picture. And I honestly don't know, like that's tiny compared to like other loose powders that people have put in out, like put out put in put in that other companies have put out like that's tiny compared to other products and I think that for $48 and like I'm just basing this off a picture we don't know how big it's going to be but this picture makes it to look like it's going to be pretty small and also it says translucent we don't have any other shades and I wouldn't be surprised if they just did a translucent shade which isn't bad having a translucent shade because that's basically universal. But at the same time, like if you're going to come out with a powder, you should definitely come out with different like colors. Honestly, you should definitely come out with different colors, not just this one color in a tiny packaging for $48. Just going to say that now. Uh, I mean, I think I have would have to like see reviews on it. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to drop $48 for something if it's this small. If it's bigger, maybe I will. Like, if it was the size of the poreless putty primer that's, like, this freaking big, honestly, I might get it. I also can pull off translucent because I'm fair as frick, honestly. But I would like to see, like, more colors, honestly. And I would like to see, like not as expensive but it's Tatcha so they're probably not going to listen to me or anyone else that says they're expensive. Next up we have Morphe. My guy Morphe. Uh, they have new nine pan palettes available now at Ulta. Uh, the palettes are $12 each via at Makeup World News. We have the 9k khaki, call khaki calling, the 9v vintage rose, the 9t neutral territory, the 9h hot for hue, 9W, Smoke and Shadow, and then we have the 9E, Pretty and Peach. 
So, first off, look at these. <sighs> this is just ColourPop and Huda Beauty in my opinion. And it seems like they're trying so hard to be like that. And I really believe that these are actually like reformulated because I think they've released these before from what I can tell. They released the, I for sure have seen the 9H, the Hot For Hue one, which is like the pink and yellow one, that bright pink, yellow and orange one. I've definitely seen the 9V Vintage Rose before. I think I've seen the 9K Khaki Calling one. But, like, I think they reformulated these and then came out with more from what I can tell. But I just, like, totally see ColourPop vibes. And I totally see, like, Huda Beauty vibes based off of, like, the names of it. Like, Khaki Calling. She literally had one that was called, like, Khaki Haze or something like that. And literally, like, she has a lavender one, too. And they have a lavender one in this collection. I just don't have it in these pictures. It's called Lavin Days, I believe. And Huda also came out with a lavender one that's something like lavender haze or something like that. Like, it's totally just a copy of ColourPop and Huda palettes. And honestly, like, that's not cool. But I get it. Like, they're trying. I, I get it in the sense that they're, like, trying to, you know, get on that, like, small palette bandwagon. Like, e.l.f. had their little four bite-sized pan palettes. You know, Natasha Denona has their little five palettes. Like... I get it like they're trying to get on that little palette trend but like this is not the way to go about it you don't take other people's ideas basically and it's like yeah it's not theirs they could do whatever you want like you want like the nine pans I get it like Colourpop doesn't own nine pans but like you're really almost copying names from a different brand and that's not cool because it's like why do you why does it have to be called khaki like, why can't you call it something else? Why does it have to be called Lavender Days? Similar to the Huda Lavender Haze one, like, or Purple Haze, whatever the heck it is. Like, why does it have to be, like, that similar? There's other things you can call it. I just don't understand that. But I just think, like, and I honestly, like, this isn't a bad idea. I just don't, because I have been using smaller palettes too, and I do like Morphe in their formula. But I do think that, these color stories too like we've seen them all before we've seen them in color pop palettes like give us something more like color pop gives us like these palettes all the time but give us more colors that look different like i want to see something different i don't want to see like the same colors or not even like the vintage rose one just looks like the same three or four colors in it and like it's like give us like a brighter like red or like a brighter pink shade if you're gonna make it a rose roses are like white red yellow uh pink bright pink like there's so many different color roses give us more like diversity in these colors and give us more like just like depth because it's like just boring to me honestly and like I just I, I don't like these if, as you can tell I don't like them <laughs> but I think that they're like almost there but they just need to be a little bit up here and I just think they need to change the names of these because it's just too similar to Huda and I get it they're trying to do nine pound palettes Colourpop already started that but we get it like Colourpop doesn't own nine pound palettes uh, I just think like there just needs to be like this needs to be revamped again a third time because I just think that that revamp just wasn't anything honestly that's probably why they revamped them because they weren't people weren't buying them I haven't seen anyone talk about these anyone so it's probably why they revamped them to try and get more people to like them and just people are like why when we have ColourPop and I believe they're $12 each so they're going to be the same price as ColourPop ones I think ColourPop ones are $12 each for their nine pan palettes so I'm not even surprised after that rant because you already know that we got to have a rant in every single video All right, so on the topic of Huda Beauty we do have new bomb brows. So these are micro shade brow pencils. They're going to be available February 23rd on their website for $17 each. We have um, via Trend Mood 1 an ultra fine 0.9 mm tip retractable brow pencil that precisely defines shapes and fills your brows using tiny hair like strokes that give you a micro bladed worthy effect to create brows that look on point literally. This pigmented super smooth brow 
pencil, sorry I can't read my writing right now, is infused with a creamy blend of vitamin E, castor oil, coconut oil to create soft hair-like strokes and effortlessly building and blending. With a durable spoolie on one end of it, it diffuses pigments, pigments perfectly so you can build and customize your look in eight shades. So these are going to be the shades. Warm Blonde 1, which is for blonde hair with golden undertones. Then we have Neutral Blonde 2 for blonde hair with a mix of cool and warm undertones. Then we have Caramel Blonde 3 for red hair for dark blonde hair with warm undertones. Then we have Light Brown 4 for light brown hair with warm undertones. Medium Brown 5 for neutral brown hair with a mix of cool and warm undertones. Rich Brown 6 for dark brown hair with warm undertones. Black Brown 7 for black hair with warm undertones and then soft black eight, which is for black hair with cool undertones. They're gonna be vegan, waterproof, transfer proof, and 24 hour wear. <sighs> so I don't really buy a lot from Huda Beauty. Um, I just like don't have anything that really like stands out for me from her brand. I do have one of her nude light palettes that I do like and that's really cute. Um, the descriptions are okay. I think that there needs to be more cool toned options because there is a lot of warm undertone options and I feel like not everyone in the world has warm undertone hair. You know what I mean? So yeah, but the next thing that I have to say is the colors look the same. Look at these swatches. You can't look at this and tell me that these are all different colors. You really can't like they're all the same in this picture and i don't know if they did that to just show like how precise the tip was so they just like did one mark of each shade but you can't be doing that when you have a description of all the different colors and you want people to buy your product you gotta like put more on there because literally like or do like one swatch above and then fill it in on the bottom so people can see the color because literally these all look the same and like just that alone even though I'm like I don't need a brow, brow product and I'm probably not gonna pick this up but if I was to get one this swatch alone I'm not gonna want this product I'm just gonna say that now like I get it she's trying to show that it's so precise and blah 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 like but at that point, when I'm looking at these swatches, I don't care how precise it is. I care about the color. And like, I can't even see the color here. Like, does that bug anyone else? Because this picture just bugs me. Like, I just don't understand. I'm being very harsh, I'm sorry, but I just don't really like these swatches. Like, who swatches like this? Like, and I tried looking on the same, like, page and there was nothing that had like filled in like swatches. The only thing I ever found was like filled in pictures of people's brows using it but even then they all looked pretty similar except for the caramel blonde which was supposed to be like for red hair and like blonde red hair but all the other ones looked very similar. So like I want to see better swatches of this. Do Am I going to get it for myself? Probably not because I don't put a lot of product in my brows and when I do I like have something that I've always stuck with so I think I'm not gonna get this but for people that do want to get it like give them more like variety like show them actual swatches of the product not just these little fine lines to show how precise the tip is because yeah we get it it's precise but we want to see like the actual color all right after another heated discussion uh, we have the Becca Cosmetics, Becca Cosmetics, Sunsetter Face Palette. This is going to be available now online and I think in Nordstrom, because it says Nordstrom, for $39 via Trend Mood 1. We have the limited edition face and eye palette featuring all new shades of highlighters, blush, and bronzer. So we have Escapist, which is the light pink with golden rose pearls. Then we have Calypso Coral, which is a coral pink with golden pearls. We have Vava Bloom, which is a rose with golden and silver pearls. Then we have Gold Trotter, which is a medium bronze with golden pearls. And it's going to be cruelty free. So, I don't know, based off of the descriptions, I don't know which one is which in this picture. I do know that Gold Trotter is a medium bronze with golden pearls, so that's going to be the bronzer in there. I can't really, like, differentiate the rest of them. 
but this palette alone I think it looks really nice like I think this is very cute I do think that this is typical just typical of Becca for them to put out a palette like this like we've seen it before I know that this is a Becca palette looking at it without even seeing the cover or anything I know this is a Becca palette um it's limited edition so that's not surprising either because I feel like a lot of their palettes that they put out like this are limited edition. You know, that's just what they do. Y'all already know how I feel about face palettes. I don't really use them that much. I do think that this one's really pretty, but I do also think that this can only be used by like a certain amount of skin tones. Like a person with darker skin is not going to be able to use this. I'm just saying what needs to be said honestly because that's why I don't like face palettes either because they always come out with just three different variations and it's like oh there you go like figure it out figure out which one's your shade and if they're not your shade sorry like that's what I don't like about face palettes either so I just think that they're it's limited edition I get it it's gonna go away anyways but it's cute it's okay it's not for me um definitely something Becca would do I think the colors are pretty, but I also think that it's going to be super glowy if you want to get this. It's not going to be any type of like, like it's already going to be glowy because it has highlighters, but it looks like the blush and the bronzer are going to be glowy also. So just be aware of that. Um, I don't think I'm going to pick this up. Honestly, I haven't picked up anything from Becca in like a really, really, really long time. And when I do, it's like highlighters. Yeah, so I'm definitely not going to pick that up. <laughs> it's cute. Don't get me wrong. It's cute. But after all of that craziness, we are done with the Will I Buy It for this week. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button. Come check me out on my Instagram at CakedCory to see more things of beauty on there and skincare if you'd like. And I hope you liked today's video. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up anything or anything else is on your mind or if you want me to add anything to next week's, next week's video. And yeah, with that being said, love you guys. See you later.